We're going to talk about episode 14 of Beyblade Burst GT, Gachi, whatever. Before we continue with this video, we're going to try to hit a 500 likes and make sure to comment what videos you want to see with the Abolos or what combos you want to see with the Abolos. I like to use this episode as a reference uh, before my actual unboxing of it. But uh, now let's get right into it. I actually enjoyed this episode. So this was episode 14 of Bailey Bray. First of all, this was actually a good episode. Like, I actually enjoyed this episode quite a bit. Uh, I was a little bit surprised. A little bit surprised with how they handled uh, some characters and whatnot. But uh, yeah, this was basically the episode uh, where Drum and whatever, they basically have his like final match with uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Loden Hajima. It's called Serious Burst Ghoul Turbo, right? The next one's uh, a little simpler of a name. So it starts off with Drum doing his launch thing, whatever. And it is a little bit cool because, you know, beforehand, he's, we're, they're looking at each other and he gets his launches ready. They're both getting their base ready. I do kind of like this shot. So something I kind of have, I don't know. Okay, so they battle, right? They're doing the battle. Drum gets his resonance. Uh, I guess Lonan's a little bit scared with how, what Drum's doing because Drum's powering up, they're both clashing and then after Drum enters into the gold turbo state where basically their bay is glittered with all gold and they have a strong resonance with their bay and he defeats uh, Zvi Longinus so I guess Drum won not because of his bay or whatever I guess just because of his good resonance so that's fine I guess and that drum gives him, uh, I guess he won, did he win the thing? I guess, I guess he did, because he gets this really weird uh, tube trophy thing. Funny scene with Vault. So Delta comes uh, to the club, whatever, drum's excited, and I'm actually really excited because Delta's bay is actually evil. Now Delta actually has such a cool launch in the anime, and I saw this in the manga, he basically gets his launcher out, he gets into the shoe stance, he gets ready, he jumps, and he does like a whole like spin. So Drum tries to attack him and everything, and then after, similar to the bullet gimmick, we're actually shown a surprise because Delta can enter into the hyperflux sort of like golden turbo state, and he easily defeats Drum. Then we get this awesome shot right here of Diabolos. The next episode is Drum vs. Delta. We're gonna get a flashback of uh, Delta, I guess, and how he got his bay. I love the voice actor for Delta. I love the cast actually for GT. It's really interesting just seeing it. But I uh, can't wait for next week's episode, but that's gonna be it. You know what I mean? That's gonna be it. Because I'm actually gonna hold off on this one this time. Just because I wanna, actually, wanna, I'll do one. I'll do one battle. I'll use uh, my Venom Diabolos right here. And, uh, oh wow, hey, you got the mini Beyblade out. No, uh, I'll do Venom versus uh, this, this Valkyrie that I have. You know, why not? Oh wow, <laughs> all right, that is the power of Venom Diabolos, not Diaboros. Now the thing is, R's and L's are mixed in Japanese, so when you're pronouncing, not all the time, does depend on the word obviously, like longinus in Japanese, they pronounce longinus, right? So diabolosu is how you pronounce it in Japanese, but diabolos is actually what the name is. So that's why I know a lot of people are confused, but that's what the name is. And that's gonna do it for this video. Comments, comment, I wanna see some, I wanna see a lot of comments in this video. Come on, I know we can do it. Well, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.